Hi, my name's Mariah, and I'm a certified veterinary assistant here at Ralston Vet. This is my dog Blitz, and he's going to help me do a quick little video on how to properly fit a muzzle to your dog. We're going to use basket muzzles in this video today. Um, so I have a few different sizes that we're going to try. First off, um, we're going to try a muzzle that is too small. So I know this muzzle is too small. For when I put it on him, I cannot get my fingers in between the muzzle and his face. There's no room. It's very snug. Secondly, even though I'm able to buckle this muzzle onto his face, um, it is too short. As you can see, his nose is smushed um, in the front here, and he has no room to open his mouth to allow panting, um, drinking, or anything like that. Sit. Good boy. The next muzzle we're gonna try is gonna be a muzzle that is too large. So this muzzle easily slips onto his face. I can easily buckle it. Um, however, I can fit several fingers in between his face and the muzzle, meaning it is really too wide, as well as he has several finger widths in front of his nose. So therefore, if he were to paw at this, to cock it to the side, he would be able to get his mouth out the bottom of it. So this would not be a proper fit. As you can see, it also um, pushes up close to his eyes, um, so that is not what we want either. Good boy. Now, this should be our proper fit. Good boy. So this muzzle, I can buckle easily. I can fit a finger in between his face and the muzzle. There is a centimeter to two centimeters in front of his nose. And then the bottom does not have a lot of excess space, but I can fit two fingers underneath of it. So that way I know that he can still open his mouth, he can still pant, and he can still um, drink water or even eat through this muzzle comfortably. Good boy. And that is all the main things you need to know about proper fitting for a muzzle. 